LEO network, which stands for Local Environmental Observer, is open to anyone who wants to participate. And you set up a, a profile, and you can use your phone or your camera or your computer. You can post an observation, and then it goes into the system and can be shared with other members. So we can see both what's happening at the community, but in broader uh, areas as well. It's kind of a grassroots maybe, you know, you get to, to be part of something. You don't get to just send something in. You get to also get a little bit back and you learn something. You know, good chance to see what's happening not only in Alaska, but, you know, other countries as well that has uh, anything to do with climate change or anything that deals with the, the land and the sea. They've had a lot of erosion in the past year. This is June 3rd, 2014. They just moved these racks for hanging bearded seal. Last year they were 60 feet from here all the way out by the four-wheeler. For example, someone might um, notice that there's been a die-off of an animal species. I'm standing here in Chakalof Creek, close to Seldovia. Uh, in this creek, every year, my family and I come up here and we fish for pink salmon. We've got a cabin pretty close to here. And if you look around me, there's not a lot of pink salmon this year that are gonna be good to catch. But this year, we have no snow and no snow melt, so the fish are coming coming up, being brought in by the tide, and they're getting up to here, and as soon as the tide comes out, there's no water for them to sit in, so they're just dying right here, and they're not even spawning, they're not getting up to their normal spawning ground, so they're just getting to the lowest points where there's any water, and they're just dying there. There's maybe new animals showing up that haven't been there before, tropical fish that shows up in someone's salmon net, and that might sound really far-fetched, but it actually happened here in Alaska when the ocean temperatures got really warm. So they can post it to LEO, and then we'll try to help them engage with the monitoring platforms and, and the people that are working on those areas. This was in April of 2011. She posted this observation about a seal pup found near Port Hyden. And she writes, this breed is not usually born or sighted in Port Hyden. It has longer hair and rounder eyes and different head position. And she provided some really great pictures of the seal pup that came up on the beach. It's really become a kind of a meeting place for lots of different people to share knowledge. You put it out there, people get to learn about it, and maybe there's somebody out there that knows more than you do about it. So you get that information back and, you know, people can start having discussions about things. For me, it's just being able to observe our community, the land, and what's happening 